Hi there, and welcome to this video about solid thinking compose. Today we're gonna take a look at Burgers equation. Burgers equation both combines the convection in 2D and the diffusion in 2D. So let's get into it. Burgers equation is the fundamental partial differential equations which is used over a bunch of different use cases. So for example, it's not only used for fluid dynamics, it's also used for simulating traffic. And it has, as said, this combination of convection and diffusion. So on the left side, you can uh, recognize step six. And on the right side, you have step seven, which now becomes step number eight, the combination of both. So it's the ordinary way. We discretize first our equations and then solve for the next step in time. And those two equations are um, inputted into the code. And I'm showing that right over here. So I have a solid thinking compose window over here. We import the libraries as always. We have the same variable declarations as in step number seven or six, and also the same initial conditions. So this bunch of ones and uh, a couple of twos in the middle. And we plot first our, um, our initial conditions to just see what it looks like. And now we compute in the number of the given time steps in the variable section, um, how this equation determines how the system is changing, how the wave is propagating and changing its, its shape. Uh, we have also the, the boundary conditions as always, because we cannot compute the edges. And at the end, we plot um, the frame after the, the certain amount of time steps. All right, let's execute it. And here you have it. Let me make me that a little bit bigger. bigger. So th those are the initial conditions. You see the, the twos here and the ones elsewhere. Note that zero is not indicated. It starts from one and goes up to two. And here you have your wave propagated and I think a little bit shrinking down. Um, we could use a um, command from step number seven, I guess. Let me just quickly check. Because there was this uh, C limb. Because I noticed that two is not indicated here anymore. It doesn't make this, this much of a difference. Just in case you want to see this again. Um, so I say ax dot set c limb uh, one comma two, which limits c from being to one uh, between one and two. So this should be two. Should look a little bit different, but not that much. So you better can guess how the wave is a little bit shrinking. All right. Thanks you for thank you for watching and if you have questions or comments about leave them down below in the video, I will be happy to answer them. Thanks again.